How we doing, sir? Right Boom. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, y'all? We're out here, St. Louis, Missouri, Bell Reeve Country Club for the 100th 100 PGA Championship, last major of the year. Excited to see what's gonna happen today. You know, golf is my thing, so we're gonna have some fun today. I'm about to walk the course, and I'm about to call some play-by-play. -play. I got him, I got him. How we doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Andre, you just got to look at this shot from Justin Rose. Do you have that shot? I have that shot about 15% of the time, so this is a tough shot. Getting through it. A lot of action out here, a lot of fans. Showing a lot of love, so it's all good. Hey, how you doing? Good to meet you, yes. When can we see all this Andre days? It's Andre Iguodala joining us here on TNT. I appreciate y'all joining. Had a great day. Till next time, peace. Really cool to get to meet and hang out with Andre. Got, yeah. got to meet him last year at Quail Hollow, but got to really spend some time with him this year. He wanted to be a golf announcer. He loves golf. I got a chance to give him a golf lesson last year, and we did it on air, obviously. It was, But when he was done, he wanted more. He yeah. didn't want it to stop. Yeah, he didn't want to just be a basketball player out there on a golf course. Yeah. He wanted to know how this job works. And he, and he loves the game. He was good at it. Yep. So we're waiting at the 10th. John Rahm teeing off a couple hours from now. He will go in the second to last group. 2.45 Eastern time. And John Rahm has thrown some victory red out there. Why not? I think John Rahm's first major, I think, is going to be in a PGA championship. I really do. Could be today. He yeah. starts three back and, remember, had that penalty yeah. for kicking his ball in the rough, uh, that which should never have happened. Satoshi Gadaira trying to figure out what he's going to do from down here. It's a longer club. Interesting choice because at the bottom of the hill there's a little creek and if you don't get this solidly this could find that. Oh, I thought he was going to drive it in there low. He's taking it around the trees. There's that creek, and he clears that. But he's not going to be able to see the putting surface from where he is. He will be barely able to see the top of the flag stick. That's way down below the green. And with that whole location as far back as it is, that is going to make that shot a little bit more challenging. Now, he'll have a distance, but he'll be well below the surface of the green. Fleetwood has 203 left, and this is a shot that has been left short a lot this week. That looked like a good motion. Leave it to Tommy Fleetwood to hit it long. He had that dialed in on the distance. That was a good swing. He probably set that up right, right where he hit it, just a little left of that flag. Good shot for Tommy Fleetwood. One under today. Three under for the PGA Championship. That's nine shots back. We're seeing all these guys arrive on the property, Michael. Some of them spent the morning watching us. Maybe seeing how some of these shots are reacting. Yeah. But now they're all here. The recon is done. Speaking of viewers. Jay says I overcooked it a little. <laughs> Eggs over easy, pork chop, toast with jam, coffee, golf, PGA Championship brunch. Yeah, look, he's got a, it's 178 degrees there, Michael. Yeah, well, you know what? When you do that, then you do, what you got to make sure of is you just go with a little bit more jam. 
on that, that right? toast. Yeah, if you kind of burn the, it a bit. I think that's the pork chop, though. Isn't pork, that jam on that uh, bread on the left? Well, why don't we, I think. Yeah. He's got jam on the toast on the left. And, and we did that wisely. It was a little bit, that's a little burned, so he went a little bit heavy with the jam. That's the key to that. You're talking yeah. about the pork chop. You're talking about this right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 178 degrees. By the way, look behind the uh, coffee mug. All right, Jay, let's make sure we're not going into the wine. It's what we call the loudmouth soup. It's a little early. You think he's going loudmouth soup this early? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't either. I think that just crept into the picture. If you want us to critique your personal life, send us a tweet. <laughs> that was a nice breakfast, though, for Jay. Or brunch. Brunch? Yeah, I believe he hashtagged the brunch. Pool, pond. <laughs> so Kadira, as you see, way down there at the bottom of the hill, the lie will be good. Look at how he opens this club face, BK. I love watching players utilize the openness of the face of the wedge. Look at him drive it in there. It's that same shot he hit a couple of holes ago. That's one of the things that's so cool to watch. We all think, well, if you open up that club face, it's going to throw the ball up into the air. That's not the case. It's a way to add a little bit more additional spin. And this guy is a short game wizard. You think when you say the word wizard and you're in St. Louis, you think of one guy. And you got a chance to spend a little time with him, Ozzie Smith. He was a wizard. Thanks to you, I got to spend some time with him. He is uh, a big Michael Breed fan. Well, I'm a big Ozzy Smith fan. You know, we all had idols growing up, but when I was playing shortstop, that was my guy. I loved that guy. And then I subsequently had a chance to get to know him through my oldest brother. And he said the last time he did the signature backflip, was 2002 and he didn't land it very well. He kind of bounced down to his knees and he said he hasn't tried it since then. Well, he wasn't in his baseball uniform. He was in he was in nice slacks and the slacks got a little scar in them. Mm. Might have even been a rip. He's forgiven. He's the Oz. You get that, by the way, the Wizard of Oz. Right. Just want to make sure that everybody understood that. All right, Fleetwood's got to carry that first four feet of grass to get at least to the fringe. Flag stick out. Did he hit it? He'll tap it in with that club. How about that? It does count as a one putt, even though it's the wedge. Fleetwood stays three under. The members here at Bell Reeve, very lucky to have the, the chipping and pitching areas the way they are. And a lot of fun shots around these greens. Now Kadira. Everything on this green leans over toward the right edge of the green, down toward the 11th tee. So this is a putt. It's probably going to move a little right. Didn't move at all. Good putt for Satoshi Kadaira. You know, I get asked the question all the time, if there's something that I could practice to improve my game, what would it be? And I tell everybody, get great with your wedges. Understand how to get a ball up and down. You're going to miss a lot of greens. You're going to miss a lot of fairways. And if you can control those wedges, you're going to be highly successful. As we look in on the 11th hole, Kerry Haig, the chief championships officer, has moved the tees forward now, just playing 294 yards. A reachable 
or drivable par four, 269 to the front edge, flag on the left-hand side. You can see the way this green moves, that flag is nudged over to the left edge of the green, just four paces from the left edge. A lot of players, this area down in here is really a very comfortable area because this area over here is, well, I'm just gonna say it like this, don't do that. Don't do that. Area on the left, not bad at all. It was over there for the second round when it was also drivable. So they've determined this is the location to put it. Obviously with players bailing out on the right, they want to put it tight to the left. But yeah. it was about five steps back on Friday. And today bringing it forward a little bit brings the more severe edge where those red arrows are. And I think if you play this this shot to get your ball back into here, I think that's really the the way to go. Rather than you know, there are some times where you want hole locations, you want a golf ball to get just shy of the the distance. This would be one that if you can hit it 310, I think would be favorable. On Friday, when the hole was a few steps back, it was down in a low spot. Today, it is right on the edge of the ridge that defines that low spot. It's actually a much tougher wedge shot in there if you choose to lay it up. We've had one eagle today. Eight birdies. Honestly, the place to hit it, if you could if you could have the preferred miss, it would be long. Coming back up the ridge. Hideki Matsuyama was the eagle. He made an 18-footer. Kadaira not gonna give it a run. shot and that'll be his favorite distance we would assume I think as good as he is with the wedges Two numbers here you're paying attention to. One is the total number, 294. Tommy concerning himself with that front number, 269. And this three would obviously plenty to get to the front edge of the green. Tommy's caddy posted up Andre Iguodala in college. Safety first. This is going to hurt. Gonna kick right eventually. It's past all that, still going. And somewhere back there, you see the property. That's the ridge up to the left. 14, 15, 16 play back at us around there. Brooks Kepka with the two shot lead. He'll deal with this drivable 11th. Gary Woodland in our featured group today with Tiger.